I was creating UI sound effects for a video game and I ended up making a few instrument racks in Ableton to help speed up the workflow. So I call this my tone generator, um, which is good for UI effects, stingers, and other simple sounds. And I'm just going to take a few minutes and run through a bunch of these knobs down here. All the instruments and effects in this chain are native to Ableton, so if you have Suite, they should work for you. Um, download it with the link below, message me if you have any questions, or if you think there's a better way to do this. So the first box here uses a combination of MIDI effects, pitch, chord, and arpeggiator. Change the number of repeats. Transposition. Uh, the speed of the arpeggiation. And here's just the arpeggiation style. So this is going up. And you might have to fish around for a different arpeggiation style. Uh, the second box modifies a bunch of knobs and operators. So attack and decay, a pitch envelope. And these ones down here is the timbre of the tones, which changes the waveform and adds various levels of FM. Let's try a, a different one. So I thought maybe we could you could do kind of like a incorrect sound. And then maybe repeat it. Uh, this third box adds various effects like echo, chorus, redux, and distortion. Uh, at the time I made this, I thought these were the most useful, and I don't know, you might think of some other effects that are better. So uh, here's a, an echo effect. Uh, chorus. Redux. And this last box is like a utility box. So a hard compressor. Uh, the width. And this is like a, a volume knob for automation. So if you wanted to draw in some kind of uh, volume curve here. Yeah, and a low pass um, filter. Anyways, lately this has been my starting point for creating UI sounds and some simple effects. Uh, in some cases I'll layer these with button clicks or some other texture, which I also made a rack for. Uh, link below if you want to check out my texture generator. Thanks for watching.